the esteem in which the church holds St. Lawrence is evident when the church has set aside a special day as a feast day for Lawrence. It is not an optional but a compulsory feast. The readings chosen for the feast are special because Lawrence was special. Lawrence was born in the year 225 CE and died in the year 258 exactly when he was 33 years old like our Lord. Whether this is providential or coincidental is up for discussion. But the fact is that Lawrence died not of illness, not of sickness, not of an accident, but because he was put to death for his faith. Lawrence dared to stand up for the truth. Lawrence dared to stand up for justice. Lawrence was courageous enough not to give up and give in and so suffered a martyr's death when he was 33 years of age, just like our Lord on the cross. The gospel reading chosen for the feast is from the gospel of John, in which Jesus asks his disciple to be like that grain of wheat. The grain of wheat which falls into the ground is the only grain that can bring forth plentiful fruit. If the grain of wheat is unwilling to die by falling into the ground, it remains a single grain. And as a single grain, it is not of much value to anyone. But if that grain of wheat dares to fall into the ground and die, then it becomes a numerous grains of wheat and it becomes a fruitful grain of wheat. A grain which dared to die to itself. When we celebrate the Eucharist, we offer the bread to the Lord. The bread which the Lord identified with his body is bread made up of many grains of wheat. The grains of wheat cannot be seen. They cannot be seen because they have allowed themselves to be crushed. If each grain wanted to retain its identity, it would have remained alone and we would not have had the bread. The reason why we have the bread is because a number of grains of wheat decide to come together, lose their identity by being crushed because of which we have bread. We are individuals, but individuals within a community. If on the feast day of St. Lawrence, we can dare to become that grain of wheat, to fall into the ground and die to our ego and our selfishness and our self-centeredness, then like the grain of wheat which falls into the ground, like St. Lawrence who dared to die a martyr's death, we also will bear much fruit. I hope that the death and the feast of St. Lawrence will be inspiration for us to die to self. Amen.